Welcome to a video all about the lasso tool and good notes. I feel as though this deserved its own YouTube video because it's complicated and the lasso tool is one of the best tools and good notes and especially for digital planning when you're using a lot of stickers like this. So I felt like it deserved its own video. I'm going to kind of plan along while explaining what I'm doing with the lasso tool and hope that that helps. So this is one of my custom planners. I have a whole section in my Etsy shop that says custom bundles and that allows you, it's a bunch of different bundles that allows you to basically build your own planner, whether it's weekly, daily, um, list, anything like that. So let's go to the custom add-on section and we're going to grab any of these. Now I'm doing this as my daily planner, but it, mo mostly this video will be about the lasso tool. So as my default, this is my lasso tool. We have handwriting, images, text box, equations, comments. Ignore equations and comments for right now. If you're here for school content, that's this is not the right place um, in terms of like using the equations tool. And then the comments feature I did use at one point, but I don't find myself reaching for it that much. So I'm not going to talk about it a lot. Um, so for now, for the sake of this video, we're going to be doing images, handwriting, and text box, which are these three. So as a default, mine are always on green, meaning like I always like to leave them on green unless I say otherwise, which you'll see in a minute. That way I don't have to think about it. So let's say this is my planner page that I'm using for right now. Again, these are sold in the ultimate custom bundle and the add-ons. So I'm going to go to the bundle stickers and let's say I want to grab a sticker. You most likely are going to be using the lasso tool in this, but you um, can do it a couple other ways. But let me just grab for now. I'm going to grab this one and I'm going to grab the green. So the lasso tool, if I have images on, I can circle an image. This is called a pre-cropped image, meaning that the creator of the sticker cropped it out for you so that there's no white background. Everything in my shop is cropped out. You should really only be shopping pre-cropped because it's a huge waste of time and energy if you don't. So, um, cause then you have to do it yourself and it's like you paid for them. There's no need for that. So if it's a cropped out sticker with the lasso tool, you do not need to circle around the entire image because look what happens. You're grabbing other stickers too. We don't want that. So with the lasso tool, I can actually just grab a little piece of this and because it's one image, it will move the whole thing. So I'm going to circle that little sticker and I'm going to click once on the inside. Now there's a big difference. I'm learning from teaching you guys. There's a difference between long pressing and clicking. Long pressing, my mom always thinks long pressing is like you have to long press and go like that. No, you only have to long press, which I'll show you. Ignore that for now. I'll show you when to long press. In this situation, you just want to click lightly. That's it. It's going to come up with these different options. Now, if you click it and it says take screenshot, it's one of two things and it doesn't say anything else. That means it's either not pre-cropped or your images is off. So if you have images off and you try to click it, it's only going to give you take screenshot. That's because it's thinking the lasso tool you've told leave my images alone. So it's not going to move it for you. So now we're going to go back here. Once you turn something on, you do have to re-lasso it or else it's, it won't move still. So now that we have it, I'm going to click, not long press, and I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to go into my planner page. Here is where I long press and it comes up with these options. So I'm going to click paste and now I have my sticker. So let's say I click out and I want to resize this image. That is another thing that you can do with the lasso tool. You can click on this circle the image, click once on the inside, and you have all these different options. You have resize, which looks like this. You can make it bigger or smaller. Let's make this bigger for this video. Um, and then for images in the clicking option as well, you have copy, you can cut, you can delete the image, you can take a screenshot of it, um, or you can add it as an element. This is elements. I don't like using elements that much um, right now. I'm hoping that a few changes are coming soon. But as of now, I don't use the elements tool. So, and then the arrange feature, which we're going to get into um, a little bit later. So that is how you use the lasso tool when it comes to images. When it comes to multiple images with the lasso tool, it is a little bit different, meaning date dots, for example. So let's go into my stickers. I know I showed this in another video. Uh, let's go to the holiday bundle date dots because it's Thanksgiving week. 
So in this bundle, I give you two sets of date dots, and this is one of them. These are my favorite. They're little candies. So what you're going to do is you're going to circle all of them with your lasso tool. If I circle just one and copy one over at a time, first of all, that's going to take me forever. And second of all, they won't all be the same size, and I will have to resize them all together. So the lasso tool can be used in order to keep things the same size. So I'm going to circle. Let's just say I'm doing one through seven to make it a little bit easier. I'm going to circle all of these. Again, you could even go, let's say it's the eighth through the... 13th, you could even circle this and just grab these. Um, if some are like going on to the next page, it, some, it might grab, not the next page, the next row, but it's okay. You'll grab what you need and then you're going to copy. You're going to go over to your planner and you're going to long press and paste. So you're left with this. This is a really good example right here. So if I were to click out right here, but then I wanted to resize the date dots and leave this alone, this would be a problem because see what I did? I pasted this image on top of another image. So now if I were to go and grab these and try to resize it, it's going to resize my image too. So I don't want that. So how I avoid that is I click back. I'm going to paste these again. And instead of pasting these or leaving these off here on this touching this image, I'm going to make them smaller and put them over here for right now. And then I can come back and circle them at any time. So if you have no room on the page, it's okay. I try to find room or else it gets a little bit annoying. Um, but that is what I like to do. I like to put my date dots over to the side or somewhere where I have no other images. That way I can grab it still using the images feature in the lasso tool. So here's where you can resize them again all together. And then you can separate them because they're already cropped individually. You can separate them. And that is how you do the date dots or that's how you do like multiple images at once. And then I can also come here and delete them. Now let's talk about the arrange feature. Let me just delete these. Hold on. I'm going to grab another sticker. Let me just grab a few. So I'm going to copy these over. This, this is not going to be a cute planner. This is just for the video. Um, and then let's grab, oh wait, I'm on date dots. Let's grab this. Okay. So this is what's going to happen here. So let's say I want to put, I want to layer my images and I go here to put this here. What's going to happen when I click out? When I click out, that sticker is going to go behind the other sticker because these were pasted on the page first. So GoodNotes works as that layering kind of um, thing where whatever's on the page first, whether it's handwriting text or images, it's going to go to the back. So now if I wanted to get that other sticker to the front, I could take my lasso tool, circle this sticker because I know the sticker is down here. I could circle the sticker up here. I could click once on the inside, arrange, and send this sticker to the back. So now that's in the back layer, okay? So this will start to make sense as you understand the layering uh, feature in GoodNotes and what's on top, what's on the bottom. Um, and if something ever goes to the back of an image, you just need to grab it. So let's just say, for example, I had, um, I'm just gonna show you this as an example. So let's say I had um, handwriting behind this sticker, because now I do. I could come here, make sure that images is off, and that way when I circle right here, it's gonna show up, but watch, when I click out, it's gonna go back. So what do I need to do? I need to click, arrange, bring to the front, and now if I click out, it's on top. So um, I don't have a good example right now because I'm forcing this, so it feels very forced, but that comes in major handy as you start playing with your planner and having all these different lists and all this kinds of stuff. That is what you're going to need to get everything where it needs to go. Okay. So let's say you wanted to mess around with this handwriting and leave the image. You're still going to leave images off. And now I can circle this handwriting. I could change the color of it. I could convert it by clicking, sliding over and clicking convert and click text. That's new. Unfortunately, it doesn't let you convert into the right font, but that's okay. 
Um, and then you can even resize this too, like make this a little bit smaller, make this a little bit bigger in here. So that is another option, okay? I'm trying to think of what next. When it comes to converting, let's do that one more time so I can kind of walk you guys through that. Let me make sure I didn't just move the iPad out of the screen. Um, so if I zoom in, my mom always asks me this question too. I always go based off of my mom because I've been teaching her good notes for like two years on and off. No, maybe a year. And her questions are what everybody else is thinking too because she's a beginner. So if I take my um, pen tool and I write like workout, Sometimes what happens is you'll by accidentally click on an image and then she thinks, and maybe you guys think, that the handwriting is gone or behind the image. It's not. It's that you've selected this. So as soon as you click out, it will come back to the front. Now, people ask, is there a lock feature for your images? No. That's a really good idea. Um, I think there should be. And I think that's something that we should definitely like put in the idea box for good notes. But as of now, there is no um, lock feature. So if you touch on an image, it's going to go like that. It's fine. Just click out. If you accidentally move it, just click the back arrow and it'll go right back. You don't have to sit there and like make it perfect again. Just hit the back arrow. Um, I'm trying to think. I know the arrange feature is going to be like a big. I'm trying to think what else I can do it with. So let's just say. Let me think, let me think, let me think. I did the date dots already. Oh, I keep thinking these are the holiday stickers. Um, mm, 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 mm. I think the arrange feature really comes into handy if you're one of those people, and I see this on um, Reels a lot on Instagram because there's a big Instagram community of digital planning. So if you guys are not part of that yet, you definitely should be. I'm part of it and it's really, really inspiring and fun. So I think a lot of people will go and circle a bunch of stickers and then paste them down. And what happens is you forget that you forget what's on top and what's on the bottom. So the arrange feature, I don't really know what I'm trying to get to at this point, but the arrange feature is really, really going to be useful for that. Like, look how cute that looks. So if you want to write on top of a sticker, you need to make sure that you're clicking with the text tool. Click on the image with the tech with your pencil, not your finger. If you click on the things with your finger, a lot of the times it will just select the image like that and it frustrates people. So you want to use your lasso tool that I mean your your pen tool that way it looks like that when it comes up. Okay. Um Guys, what should I talk about with the lasso tool? Oh my God, that's also really annoying. If you have a text box open and you try and click on a tool, it makes these little tick marks because it thinks you're trying to write a comma or a parentheses. You can just scribble out like that and then with your finger. So when you're gesturing on the toolbar, use your finger. You don't have to most of the time, but if you're in a text tool, you want to use your finger. And then if you're using this, you want to use your Apple Pencil. Okay. Um, the lasso tool can also be used to resize everything at once or copy and paste everything at once. So I can take this and resize this, or let's just say I change my mind about the paper underneath. I can come here, get a different paper. Cooper's going to start barking because I hear this dog. Copy this over. And then I can take my lasso tool, copy everything at once. Make sure everything's green in your lasso tool. You can even cut it and then move over here and paste it. So it's very easy to change the custom settings. And then to get out of this, because I have this stretched out to the end of the page, just click on another tool and it will stay. Okay. I feel like that was a good base. So again, remember with the lasso tool, you have text and you have, I mean, you have handwriting and you have text. You can change the color. You can resize everything. You can even resize your handwriting too. Now, the difference between text and handwriting when it comes to the lasso tool is I can circle a tiny little piece of the handwriting and it will move the whole box. If you try and do that with the lasso tool, it only moves the letter with handwriting because handwriting, they're all separate. So you need to circle the whole thing. But you could do resize. Whoops. You could do color. Same with text. And yeah. 
I hope that was a good start. I feel like I wasn't as prepared for this video as I should have been, but that is the lasso tool in a nutshell. I hope you guys got a few nuggets in here because the lasso tool is awesome. At the end of the day, it does just take practice. I always tell people it becomes like driving a car. If I try to, if I have images off and I try and circle an image, I don't like sit here and be like, oh my God, what's wrong? I'm like, oh, images is off. Let me go grab it. So like I learned, my brain has learned that if I don't see it moving in 0.2 seconds, images is off. So it becomes very easy for me to fix. Um, and it, it's not like a, a stressor. But I do see when I'm tutoring people, a lot of people will try to move something and it won't move. And I'm like, images is off. Like it's all, it's okay. So you're going to make sure to go and turn that off when you guys are using the, especially the custom bundle. That's another reason why I tell people the custom bundle is not the best for beginners because you have yet to learn the lasso tool and it's absolutely needed for the lasso tool it's absolutely needed for the custom bundle that you know how to use the lasso tool okay leave your questions below you guys know i will be back i'm about to come on live and plan my day with you guys and so i will see you guys in my next video